Confessions, something that I had to do every single Sunday at Mass. But this week, we did it on my stream. I'm the kid you guys left on the street. I had to say that he was a missing person. Basically, he was no longer, you know. Probably one of the funniest streams I ever had in my entire life, where a bunch of my viewers went on stream to confess their deepest, darkest secrets. My grandma came in and saw me, like, hunched over the bed. Like, <laughs> in front of over 20,000 people live. I laughed almost the entire time. I thought it was all hilarious, and I believe you're gonna think it's hilarious too. Speaking of hilarious, only 50% of you guys are subscribed to the channel, and only about 10 of you guys have notifications on. If you could, be sure to check if you have notifications on, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm giving away $1,000 in the month of January. With the recession happening, you definitely wanna have that cash. So be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Chat, tonight we are doing something I've never thought would be imaginable. We are doing Twitch confessions. Now, I'm letting you know if you want to do this. One, you have to be at least been subbed for three months. Two, and most importantly, you have yeah. to be on camera. So, if you want to wear glasses, that is totally understandable. If you don't give a shit and you're like gross score and you're willing to just let everyone know that you, you know, made your girl orgasm one time compared to the guy with the curved penis four, I am totally fine with talking to you as long as you want. Now, Chad, as you probably can tell, the church is dying. Children are not paying attention to the book of Isaiah. Instead, they are pe paying attention to the VOD of Speed was here, or whatever the hell his name is. Children do not care about the Lord. They do not care about their Savior. They are leaving the path of righteousness, and they instead are going to the path to stake.com. All right, Wajito, you understand how this goes. You were bringing in people to confess. Yep. Now, are you screening these people at all? I feel like everyone deserves retribution and forgiveness, so I don't think it makes sense to completely screen them, you know? That's right. Bring in the, the first person. All right, here you go. <clears throat> Father Miskiff, or Father Matthew. Before my confession, do you know my name's Nintendo Lapeer and not Nintendo Warper? I understand that. I'm sorry. You just did not donate enough to the church for me to give a shit. Okay, that makes sense. All right, my confession. Back when I first started watching you, it was 2020 in May. Clint went live. And I went to his stream and I noticed he was teaching someone 70 star. I was like, who the hell is this guy? I don't know who this is. It sounds like some normal Twitch person or whatever. But then eventually I watched the whole stream. I thought this guy was really funny. And then of course, Twitch died at like 3 a.m. and I couldn't finish the stream. So then after that, I was like, maybe I'll go check this guy out. But here's where I sinned, Father. I watched a bunch of Ms. Kiff annoying Maya for 10 minutes straight clips. But here's the thing, though, Father. Mm. I am not a Maya frog. I am only a Mario frog. I came here from Mario, and I came here to stay with Mario. Mr. But, Nintendo LARPer. Yes, my is Keef. You must confess, and that's part of it, is you have yeah. to let go. You have to understand that you did start off as a Maya frog. You did watch those 10 minute compilations of Ms. Kiff annoying Maya that have over a million views. Yes, I did that. You were once a proud minutes. Clint frog. Still Unfortunately, am, you you changed into a Maya frog. Yes. Are you a big Mario fan now? Yes, I got this wonderful Mario thing here. I got a Mario calendar that I probably need to change. And hell, I even speed on Mario 64. What's your time? 1822. That's but soon I will bad. beat that time now. It's not bad. So, are you still a Maya frog? Hell no. Respect. I've not been in her chat in many years. And I haven't been to one of her streams in a while. Fuck that bitch. So, not fuck her. She's doing some great things with Alveus, but... Sounds like you're still a Maya frog, man. Listen, I was just baiting you out of it. It sounds... Listen, all you had to say was fuck that bitch, but the fact that you just... You, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fine. Fuck that bitch. Fuck those animals and fuck those little weasels or whatever she has. Exactly. That's what you have to say. Just admit, if you don't want to be a Maya frog, you have to admit that it's sin. And just say it. It is a sin. It's a bird prison. S it fan is a was right. Bird prison. The way she treats those animals, it's just a bird prison. Exactly. Those birds need it. Someone needs to sneak there, open those cages, and just let them free. Yes, one might fall over because it doesn't have a wing, but hey, it can still damn walk on those two legs. That's right. So now you've converted from a Maya frog to an S fan sub. You actually just got a tier one off in his offline chat by S fan. Let's go. Nice. Well, one Mr. Nintendo, Mr. Mice Keef. I just want to let you know that the church, we here, forgive you for your problems and your troubles. Let's go. I'm glad that you were able to confess your sins. I do think mm -hmm. you need a better headset, probably a Razor one. And yes. I hope you continue watching.
Bye, Nintendo Wiper. You may now leave. Bye, Mice Keef. Thank you. Who said this job's easy? Very tame. Very tame, Wajito. Are you here to confess yourself, Wajito? Do you want not tame one? I, I was starting it off, like, slow. All right, what would you say that was on a scale of 1 to 10 compared to what you've heard? That was, like, a 3. Which one are you bringing in? I can bring in, like, a 7, 8. Okay. Bring it in. All right. All right. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I understand what your problem is now. I totally understand. That P that printer is absolutely terrible. Uh, that it's is actually a 3-in-1 printer. It has fax also and scanning. I think it's a really good printer, in my opinion. I have sinned. That is a very nice 3-in-1. Wow. I see that you're a holy man yourself. I see the uh, cross behind you. Yeah, I went to Catholic school for like 15 years. So you yeah. obviously know this is the legit stuff. This is this is the new yeah, age yeah. of confession is through absolutely. Twitch. That How old sense. are you? 20. You're 20 years old. How many sins can you possibly have at the age of 20? About seven so far. Seven deadly sins. Go ahead and tell us your worst sin. Can we like get up there? I don't know if I'm like emotionally ready for that one yet. It's okay. Yeah. Why don't we start off slow and we'll get up to the top. So I had a bit of a vendetta against my middle school janitor. Uh, he was painting one day and he had a little mat laid out and I stepped on the mat and he basically told me, Muevete gordo, which means move fat ass. And just from that day, he didn't really like me. In about eighth grade, I committed the sin of shitting in the public urinal. The teachers all liked me though, so I didn't get in much trouble for it. But at the end of the day, he had to clean it up and I got my get back. And he probably so, had another janitor clean it. Do you do you know if it was him for sure? I, I hope it was him. If, if another man had a deal with that, I, I vehemently apologize to that man. So you shit in a urinal, which is a dastardly sin. The it was a middle school Christian urinal also. I don't know if I mentioned that. So it was, it was probably used a lot. You know, I'm going to say this. I don't think that that's that crazy. I don't think Thank you're you. a terrible Thank person you. for that. Now, I may be different because I've done way worse when I was in school, but I do not think that's a bad confession. I, I think that is a normal thing. You did some stupid thing. You know, you he called you a fat ass. He, he went first. Exactly. Like, you know, it's not like he said, can you excuse me? He called you a fat no. ass. He and you're did. a kid. Like, so I wouldn't say um, that that's bad. I think that the church can accept you and you're perfectly fine. I really appreciate that. So for my next sin, I guess you would say it's a sin of lust, perhaps. Um, I discovered porn at a very young age, I would have to say. How young were about you? From the, like, like six, probably. What the amigo? What? Six years old? You were, like, you were into porn? Six. What the I, fuck? That's like the first discovery, we'll say. When did I- I remember I was on LimeWire. I downloaded a Bill Clinton where he said I would not have sexual relations with, with that woman. And then the next thing I downloaded was a virus and a girl's tits popped up. I was like nine. And then like your pants fell down because it was a virus and you were just trying to pick them back up or whatever. No, I mean, I remember I immediately came. Oh, cool. Anyway, so being the serial masturbator that I was, after school, I would go to my cousin's house because they would like babysit me or whatever. You know, after discovering this site called Newgrounds, I was like, wow, they have all these great things on this website. And they had a kind of like not safe for work section. And there was like this very particular like category of like Teen Titans porn of like hentai, I guess, that I would like just fucking go crazy on. <laughs> um, right. So it was my cousin's living room, and whenever they were out, I would just masturbate to that particular video. After about like the fifth or sixth time, before my cousin left the house, he was there was like a little like pin in the ceiling, and they're like, "That's a that's a that's a camera actually." So I'm gonna need you to like just you know like be chill, like just be chill. While I'm out, okay? I'm like I'm like I'm not gonna burn the house down or anything. I don't do anything wrong in here. What are you, what are you talking about? Also, I didn't realize like masturbating was like wrong or whatever. So that happened, and then on like. The next time I was at the house, we got into like a little bit of an argument and they essentially told me like while I was leaving the house, like, yeah, well, that, that's why you jerk off to Teen Titans porn. I was just confused and dazed. How does he know? And essentially history is a thing. I didn't realize you could like have an incognito mood mode or just delete the history. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Are you really even upset that you did that? It's I'd say your one problem that you have is you got caught. That's fair. Why were you jerking off in the middle of the living room? That's what I don't understand. That's where they had the family computer. That's not my fault. If they had it like in a bedroom somewhere, the bathroom even, I'd be okay. But they decided to put the family computer in the Now, is there another confession one. you want to make? Did I just hear Coco Melon in the background? That was not Coco Melon. That was <laughs> from an anime called Spy Family. There's a character named Anya and she goes, Waku Waku, which means I'm excited. And I thought it was pretty cool. So I made it my... My phone I'm very scared for your next confessions. So let me ask you um, a first question. How long have you been subscribed for? 
What do you mean subscribed, exactly? Father Wajita would not have let somebody who hasn't paid into the chapel. Well, you see, you went, you had your whole thing going on, and there was, like, other creators that needed a Twitch Prime, and, like, right now it's on cooldown. That's not my fault. Well, let me ask you okay. a question. Who did you subscribe to while I was gone? This may be your biggest confession. Senny. We're done for today. Father, I haven't finished yet, please. Now, do you promise to take that money whenever it's on cooldown and give it to the church? Yes, absolutely. Rather than the devil Father, himself? Listen, I, I, that was going to be one of my top confessions. Okay, I just, I, I will pay my reparations when the time's due. Me, you know. me too. Just let me know when. So I had a dog of about 10 or 12 years I loved very much from a young age. No, don't tell me. He was very old on his last legs. And he kind of just like plopped on the ground. He was like alive and able. And I was I was still pretty young. And I, I, I shook him really hard. And I'm like, move, Fluffy, move. <laughs> um, and then he was kind of like just in rigor mortis. Like, I'm pretty sure he was still alive. He was like, he was definitely alive because we took him to the vet. And I was kind of crying at the vet. And I'm like, Fluffy. Um, but he was just, I guess he had a seizure and like major paralysis. I don't think I broke anything when I shook him. I'm pretty sure he was kind of like on that wave already. He was really old. He just like happened to die in the same time frame. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> Move, Fluffy! Move! <laughs> Move, Fluffy! <laughs> That's you, not funny! You, you just jerked off the Teen Titans. <laughs> you run downstairs to get your dog. <laughs> Boy, damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. What the hell is your life? Oh God! Right. The, the the Lord forgives you, by the way, just for making me laugh. That, that was funny. The Lord forgives you for that, by the way. You seems like you were just a young kid. You were doing stupid stuff. Sound like a very funny child, honestly. But I agree. They actually had a. Cut out of me for my like I think tenth birthday, and on my tenth birthday, hi ma. Anyway, um, for my tenth birthday, I wonder if she's. Did she just hear you talking about jerking off the raven? I hope not. Also, why is your door not locked? That's the reason why half these problems happen. You realize? I that? don't have a lock on my door. That's the, uh, this is the same house I've lived in since I was zero years old. They never put a lock on my door. I don't have one. I can't lock. I, I'm gonna let you know right now. That is your problem. Is you don't have a lock on your door. If you had a lock on your door, none of this would be happening. That's true. You know, some people out there can't afford a lock, though. I can't now, obviously. But yeah, but some people can't. But you can. Yeah. Now, not previously. I, I couldn't go up to my mom and be like, "Hey, mom, we buy a lock." I kind of want to jerk off. <laughs> that wasn't. Did your parents know about the time you screamed fluffy move when your dog was about no, to die? No, I did not mention I, that. I'm taking that to my grave. I hope nobody sees this. At the time of six, also, Jesus I was Christ, also interested bro! Why do you make that face cubes. every time I say when you were six? You're how you, bro? You were ice cubes. First, I had ice cubes. I had my radiator. You know what a radiator is, right? Yeah. And I would put the ice cubes on the radiator, and they would melt. And I'm like, that's really cool. Like you can melt ice cubes or whatever. And then I put the ice cubes in my mouth, and I'm like, they also melt in here. That is amazing. And I got like three ice cubes, and like I would like continuously shove them up my butt, and I would be like, they're also melting in there, and I'm getting hydrated. This is amazing. And then one time, my of my ice cube sessions, my grandma came in and saw me like hunched over the bed, like throwing ice cubes. <laughs> Um, and she's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, they're melting! They're melting! What's the problem? And then I got a long talk about why that's not okay. You're forgiven, honestly. You're, you're forgiven. You're, you were six, dude. All these things you tell me, you were six years old. Like, I, I can't get mad at True. you. You were six. You know? True. Holy shit, I don't even know what to say to that one. You're <laughs> sticking. Th How many ice cubes did you fit in your ass? Three? Well, at, a, at most three, but like throughout the day. Also, they were like, where are the fucking ice cubes gone? <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> 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 you were one horny child at the age of six. I can't. I. I. I when I was six years old, I would, don't even. I, I didn't even know what gay was. You were way that's more developed than me. You should bring your grandmother in the room and just say, I'm sorry. And that's it. Okay. This is insane. I gotta talk to viewers. Hi. He's actually very slow. 
So, uh, one second. All right. Are you going to shake her? You can tell, see her right there. Tell her. To, <laughs> hi! I have a church in the Bronx. Why did you do that? Uh, just nothing. That's it. Okay. But I love you. Okay. That, that was it. No, no mas. There you go. Sin forgiven, blockchain? It is forgiven. You did the right thing. You let her know. I agree. You said sorry, she was like, about what? And you just shut the door on her. You realize that someone comments. at your school is definitely going to see you and know that this story happened. Damn! What a good kid. But you know, bring, you gotta bring in someone that, at, at that level. It's close. It's a pretty good story. Forgive me, Father Miss Bitch, for I have sinned. Are you on 34th Street in, in Manhattan? Where are you? Well, this is my first sin. I live in Florida. Oh, so you probably have a huge list of shit you've done. Being from Florida and living here practically a big portion of my life, born and raised, unfortunately, I might have dabbled in the entertainment scene in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. And let's just say when you meet a lot of big, important people, sometimes you get propositioned for things. You know? I won't name names. I won't say what he owns. I won't say who he is. But I will say I was prompted to, for maybe a couple grand, to maybe take some food dyes in like a satisfactory type, or in a uh, sublingual type sense, so that when I also consume some laxatives, I can make some beautiful rainbow scat as a art piece that he will hang up on his wall. So, yeah. You just said someone who was rich in Florida offered to pay you $3,000 to shit and he was going to put it on his wall. Well, it's rainbow shit, so it's more of an art piece than just, you know, just regular scatting. But yeah. I mean, I feel like that's not your confession to say. That's the person who ever the hell thinks that's a good idea. Did I just see one person say poop girl? Yeah, I mean, what do you expect? You're going to be known as poop girl and simply poop guy. I mean, like, I, like what did you, did you expect that you were not going to be called poop girl after today? Just... Well, the Florida internet got her. <laughs> she got hit by a tornado and a tsunami at the same time. All right, uh, would you, I guess you bring in the next person. All right, there's one that's like really crazy with no cam if you want though later, but it's that bad where they don't want to be on cam. Yeah, it's it's some weird stuff. Get him in real quick. Okay. Hello? Hello? Wait, I know who you are. No, you don't. I know who you are, I think. Wait, just to make sure, you're over 18, right? Uh, yes, my yes, I am. You sound um very Like nice. a VTuber, I know, right? Wait, you really sound like a VTuber. Yeah. Is this really your voice? Yes, it is. It's real, I promise. Not a voice changer at all. My username is Mars, not 12 because I sound 12, even though I'm 18. I don't know if it makes me a criminal. When I was a young girl, back in the day, but I didn't like my stepdad. So, one day, I had enough. I was tired of it. I didn't want him around anymore. I was so angry. So recently, my mom went to PetSmart and she bought a bunch of fish. Um, I don't know why. We hate fish. Taking care of them, they're a pain. One of the fish died, and we still hadn't taken him, you know, down the toilet. So he was still, his water was still there. So my stepdad conveniently asked me to get him some water, and I was angry. So I, uh, got my dead fish water, put it in his cup, mixed it in with a little bit more water so it wouldn't be, like, obvious, and he gave it to him. And I was hoping he would get, like, violently ill, but he somehow didn't get sick. I mean, he drinks tap water from New Jersey. Of course he was fine from that. That's nothing. Yeah, he drinks lead on the regular. It's okay. I used to live in Colombia, um, with my mother, and... In Colombia? Yes, in Colombia. Wait a minute, you're, you're from <laughs> Colombia and you're in New Jersey? <laughs> yes. You are probably insane. <laughs> No, I'm not that crazy, I promise. Hey, I, Barthe, I'm Colombia. Ba uh, Barranquilla. Okay, she did live in Colombia. Oh, no. Okay, she's telling the truth. Here, I give you that. <laughs> I'm scared of her. So I was in Colombia, and my mom didn't want to live in Colombia anymore, so we were trying to come back to the States. But my dad and my mom, they they have like a love-hate relationship. But he basically said, no, I can't come back to the United States. So he wasn't giving permission for me to return. So basically, we had to, I had to say that he was a missing person. Basically, he was no longer, you know. 
Wait, do you report him she as a missing person in Colombia or in the U.S.? Uh, I think in Colombia because it's fine. They don't care about oh, the oh, I don't know if it was. Oh. I actually don't yeah, know if it was. It, it was probably had to be both because they needed proof because they, I mean, they needed like a signed paper in order for me to enter back into the U.S. Oh, and that reminds me of how I'm never allowed to go to Egypt because they might think my mother's kidnapping me. My dad's Egyptian, and um, and she doesn't want me to go with him because he might kidnap me. Yeah, you know, like payback for taking me to Colombia. So, uh, but I'm 18 now. It doesn't matter. Right. So you're you're not a VTuber. Um, I'm not a VTuber, but a lot of people tell me I should, especially a lot of people in your Discord server, always trying to make me into a VTuber. Oh my God, you're from Colombia. You go, you live in New Jersey, and you're in my Discord. You're. Yes, I I'm feel friends so with. I'm I, friends with some people on here. I feel so bad for you. You need help. I mean, forget this whole confession shit. You need <laughs> help. One time, I was a. Uh, Playing a uh, Valorant. Is this in I, my uh, Discord? No, 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 no. Your miss, oh. your Miscord is pretty. They don't like you. So, just, just thought you should know that. I, anyway, it's my Discord. What do you mean? They don't like you. The green names are the only people that watch you. The people who have green names or other colors are the people that are hate watchers. But guess what? They still watch. If they say they're not watching, they're still watching, which means... The only reason a lot of the people are watching is probably because of me, though. Oh my god, your ego! I'm you're friends with more people on I'm the Discord than you are. I'm friends with more Discord people <laughs> than you Do you see how lame you just sounded? I'm friends with more people on yeah, Discord well, than you at least, you at least <laughs> I don't wear cat ear headsets. Wait, why not? Because I'm fighting the stereotype. Just name some people in the Discord so I can ban them real quick. Just go ahead and name a couple. Um, Celeron, Winston, Toasted Jam. Wait, Toasted um, Jam runs the server. Wait, Solorion's <laughs> here every night. Okay, now I know you're just lying to me. What? Uh, what? They're literally in the stream every day. Solorion, do you really not like me? What the hell? He's here every Celer day. Just five subs. Isn't his name Celeron? Oh, I call him Celery. It's Solorion. Oh, well, then that's maybe why I call him Celery. Wait a minute. You are, you are just like me. You don't call people by their real names. They don't deserve it. They don't. I always, I always don't tell them why, but they don't deserve it. They don't, they don't deserve, deserve it. it. Wait, you yeah. actually? I think she has what it takes to be the next Hokage. Like, I think you can be the next Aiden Ross. And he's banned, so it's my perfect time. You Who's are a human. You're a human piece of shit. Yeah. If you ever want to make be a VTuber, I'll help you, but I get twenty percent of your revenue, and she gets ten. Sure. I don't care. Okay, forty. Fuck it, fine. Whatever. Fine. I mean, fine. Fuck it. Fine. 50. Well, while we're at it, why not make it sixty? Easy clap. That's what I was saying. You're like, doing terrible. Don't let him do this to you. He doesn't know yet. He doesn't know. Don't tell him. I don't know that this is probably Solorion with the uh, voice changer. No, this is not Celeron. I promise you that. He just gifted me five subs. You really think he hates me? He hates himself enough to manage your Discord. That poor soul. Okay, now, oh, if think. you're managing my Discord, you probably hate me. Let's ask God himself. God, are you there? No, Shroud's offline. But I have this, the next best thing. Oh, Magic Conch. Does Mizcord hate me? Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, the Conch doesn't lie. Oh, Magic Conch, does anyone actually hate me in my my stream? Yes. Well. <laughs> is Asan a better streamer than I am? No. That's... All I care about. That is all I care about. I don't. I will agree. Not that I don't like Hassan. I just can't listen to him speak. You seem like a great girl. You've done some stupid. You sound like a piece of shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. That's why you think we think you'd be a great streamer. That's why I think you'd be a great streamer. Like yeah, you seem like great. a terrible yeah. human being. Like terrible. Wait, how long have you been watching my stream for? A long time. I've been subbed for like nine months, maybe more. I don't know. Wow, you're an old frog. Nine months. Oh my god. I'm so old. Oh, Magic like Conch, is she playing Pokemon during confessions? Sounds like a lot of hoopla. Okay, she's I'm not, not playing Pokemon. Can you hear that? Yes. <laughs> As people following me. See, she wasn't playing Pokemon. I'm being a business person right now. Do you hear all these noises? These are people from your stream following me right now. Okay, are you going to say that I made you? I made myself. You I spoke. stupid bitch. I spoke, and I led this conversation. You didn't lead shit. You have such an ego. Oh my god. You're from Colombia and Jersey. You're the worst of the worst. <laughs> well, I am I am your kid, so. 
Oh my, that's not something to be proud of. Wait a minute, but you know what's so great? I skipped mm -hmm. all the bullshit. You're 18. <laughs> which means you know what? You hung up on her? I don't need to talk to her. She's 18. I have to worry about the kid until she's 18. She's 18 now. She's oh. out of my life. I don't think of a shit. But you, know what's, you, but you know what's crazy, Alinity? What? She will make a damn good streamer. You're right. She would. From She's Columbia. Talking, lives in New Jersey. Probably has some crazy stories. Scary. Yeah. Like, scary how good of a streamer. She's 18, which means she's fucking, like, like... She's not old and fucking pissed off like us. She's like ready to go. Uh, she does sound a little pissed off. Okay, let's get another person in for okay. confessions. Why does your room look so cozy? Good. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. cozy, right? Do you have a girlfriend? Oh. I have a wife. She's on the couch oh. right there. You want to say hi? Hi. Uh, hi. Hey. Isn't she pretty? Hello. She is. Are you are you aware that your husband's about to confess his sins? There they are. Oh, she hi, Miss. She can't hear you. Hi, hey. What do you think this is? What do you think I'm running here? Oh yeah, you have a tight ship, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I have to admit, and please forgive me, but I I like Ed Sheeran. What? Why are you so mad? He's so mad right now. Oh, I don't like Ed Sheeran. Uh, hey, I can't is, stand his cringy ass is... fucking repetitive bullshit that he's been spewing onto the fucking world of, of young adolescents. It's just disgusting. That It's just the way he talks and acts. It's so cringe. I hate everything about Ed Sheeran. I've always hated Ed Sheeran. I don't know if I can forgive you yeah, for you what you just Yeah, you need to did. be loved. Milena, you need to cross ban him in every platform. What's your name on Twitch? Milena? Oh, this is a doozy. Milena. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't really have any confessions besides Ed Sheeran, which was probably the worst one we got all night, but... Well, I, I did also commit the sin of talking politics in chat, which got me banned in someone's chat. Who would he have talked That's... talked politics and got banned in? Uh, Andy Milanakis? Oh, <laughs> uh, you weren't mm. talking NFTs. You were talking. You were talking politics. You what? are. You are banned <laughs> in chat by Andy. It was. A, I think it was like a couple of years ago too. Years Whoa! Ago. I don't know what I said. <laughs> Why would you say Why that? Why would you say that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I said. Why does Andy look like Trump's bastard child? <laughs> That's so mean. I don't, I don't know. I think I was bantering, but I was drunk and I, I, don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. That's so mean. So he banned you in his channel. Okay, maybe that wasn't the politics I remember. That was pol- it was not that politics. That not politics. <laughs> Andy tried to call you? Wait, oh really? God. No way. <laughs> you know so what? <clears throat> Can I add no him shot. to this? No shot. I feel so bad. Like, I, I was bantering. Hello. Andy. Hey, Andy. How you doing? Andy, I don't know if you even want to talk to this guy. He's banned in your channel. Oh, man. Yeah. What's up, brother? Go ahead. Confess your sins. We're all about confessing today. What did you say? Andy, I was very drunk one night, and um, I think I got caught up in a little bit of, like, banter and maybe personifying myself in the situation, and I said some out-of-pocket remarks. Well, did he even tell you what he said yet? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, w wait, yeah. Um, I, I don't remember the exact uh, verbatim that well, I used. I, I mean, I, uh, I have it if you want it. He was talking politics, which I told him was a big no-no in your, your stream. What uh, do you mean? I'm a political streamer. Uh, the last time you saw me. He was bringing up Trump. Um... <laughs> My chat oh my already God. copy and pasted what he said. I don't give a fuck. God damn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you want to get unbanned or no? Oh, I, would, I, would, I would love a second chance. Okay. I'm definitely sorry. Like, 100%. I don't mean it, and I don't think you look like that. It's all good, bro. I got hella W Riz, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Zoomer now. I got, I got W Riz. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, have a good stream, guys. Bye, Andy. Andy. Bye, right, Andy. Bye. You learned your lesson. I think you're a good guy. Just, uh, you know, keep doing your thing. Try to listen to Ed Sheeran a little bit less. And overall, you're a good guy. Come back to the Glad church to whenever you, you guys up. need. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'll see you at the next uh, confession. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I'll come up with more other things. I'll, I'll get banned in more chats. I got you. There you go. I'll see you All later, right. man. All right, boys. I got to go. I'm definitely going to do this again, the confessions. That was funny as fuck.